Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Cooking Uncovered and my name is Miriam and today we're going to uncover the secret behind the best pastry in the world. Now don't shudder, don't get worried because I'm going to show you the easiest way and it is so flaky and delicious. So, two and a half cups of flour into the bowl. One teaspoon of salt goes in, one teaspoon of brown sugar. And don't worry, if you don't have brown sugar, just leave it out or use white sugar. Okay, perfect. To that, we're going to add half a pound of very cool shortening. Now, I've already cut my, started to cut my shortening up. Now, to make this quicker, I'm going to use my hands. Now, normally, if I had a lot of time, I wouldn't use my hands. But in actual fact, it's not that hot out today. So, what I don't want to do, I do not want to... Um, melt the shortening with my hands. You want to bring this to a state where it is called mealy, which are uh, big lumps of shortening. Now, you can use lard if you want. This is an all vegetable shortening which works very well. Okay, to this, now I'm going to get all mucky, but it is pastry day. To that, we want to add one egg. One egg goes in here with two tablespoons of vinegar. Now, the thing is, what does vinegar have to do with pastry making? Well, in actual fact, with vinegar in your pastry, it inhibits the gluten from forming. And that's what you want. You don't want the gluten to form like you do when you're making bread. So, and now I have about half a cup of ice water goes in here. So that's egg, ice water, and vinegar right into my pastry. So just give that a little stir. Now, of course, I can't. Uh, use this because I have to refrigerate it first. So this is going, I'm going to form this into a ball and I'm going to put this in parchment paper or uh, wax paper if you have it or saran wrap. Form it into a ball. Try not to make it um, uh, develop and you don't, want to, you don't want it tough so you've got to be careful. You just want it till it comes into a ball. If there's a bunch of flaky stuff on the bottom, dry stuff, don't worry about it. Okay, this is going into the fridge. And delicious strawberry rhubarb sour cream pie, which I forgot. The sour cream part is one cup of sour cream with one egg. So this goes on top at the end. So I'm going to make it and I'll just put it aside. One egg, one cup of sugar. Now, if you're not adding strawberries, you can add one and a half cups of sugar just to make it a bit um, sweeter. But with the strawberries, you can cut back on the sugar, which is perfect. And that was one th third of a cup of uh, flour. You're mix mixing that up, and that is the sour cream part that goes on top before you put it in the oven. So that's ready to go. Here's my pastry. I took it out of the fridge. It's been resting for about 45 to an hour in the fridge. Now I have my um, pastry ready to go. Now notice it's a round shape. That's what you want. If you're making round pies, as in uh, strawberry rhubarb sour cream pie, then start with a round disc. All right, this is very soft, very, very soft. So fold it over into your pie plate, stretch it out. Now, if you'd like a crust, if you like crust, then fold this over to get yourself a nice high crust that we can flute. If it's too much, then just cut it off. I happen to like pastry, and everybody that I cook for generally really likes pastry. So I'm just gonna fold this over and make it even. Now I'm going to flute it, so peace sign. And then you push with your finger. Just It's just a decoration. You don't need to do this, just leave it rustic if you want. Pies. Okay, pie crust is ready. You don't have to bake it first, blind bake it, no. You leave it raw. Now into that you want your rhubarb. So that's about four cups. And then I've cut the ends off the strawberries. Just cut the ends off and just half them. So I've got that all ready to go. So that goes into my pot too. This is so delicious, folks. Honestly, talk about a treat for a nice summer day. This is a real summer treat because of the rhubarb. On top of that, you have your sour cream filling all ready to go. So that's the sour cream, the egg, the sugar, and the flour. That goes on. Pour it all on. And on top of that, a crumble filling. Now, if you don't like a crumble filling, you can actually leave this off, but I really like the way that it, it decorates the pie. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, that's going to go in the oven at 400 degrees. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful pie. And what we have here is one that I made earlier, and I've taken a piece out so you can see it, because really, this is a luscious, luscious pie. So, thanks for joining me.